uh, Reagan Marsh, and I'm the Director of Emergency Medicine for Partners in Health at Mirabalay, and an instructor in medicine at Harvard Medical School and at the Brigham. And we understand that uh, you've been working with Josh Philbrook. So we've been delighted to have Josh with us since uh, December, around the holidays. He is our new facilities manager for Mirabalay Hospital and has really raised our ability to provide sort of facilities management and uh, develop the facilities team at Mirabalay. So all of the essential things that we talked about today in terms of keeping laboratory running, keeping oxygen concentrators running, keeping the CT scan, digital radiology, the electronic medical record. Um, he's been instrumental in keeping it running and then building out our capacity for the future, training our Haitian team how to do it. Um, so it's been great to have him with us. And you us. have one engineer. Yes, we have Josh. Um, <laughs> and then we have a team of Haitians that he's been that's been working with us uh, many since we actually started construction who have been kept on as sort of identified people with great potential so he's training those um, occasionally we have visitors come down who help him in, in certain specialty areas um, and we had engineers during the construction phase but now in terms of facilities management we have Josh and you mentioned in your presentation that a large number of your employees are Asian yes so it, is there a, a natural occurrence that I mean, Josh needs people in engineering, and he can use Haitian people in those jobs? Yeah, so the... I mean, there are a few Haitian engineers. There's engineering schools. Many Haitian engineers are actually trained in Florida. Um, and so sometimes we have people come back and sort of doing on-the-job training and working with them. The truth of the matter is a lot of well-trained Haitians in any specialty either leave, work elsewhere in the world, or work in the, in the capital city in Port-au-Prince. Um, and so we're doing a combination of using local staff who are not engineers, trying to recruit some um, some actual Haitian engineers, and then partnering with U.S. institutions, organizations to provide technical expertise, maybe have volunteer engineers come down for short terms to help Josh in areas that are not his area of, of real knowledge base. So. Great. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.